You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing, because an artful life requires being prepared to meet and withstand sudden and unexpected attacks. No matter how good a life you lead, you won't please everyone. Someone will be glad to see you go. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. To live happily is an inward power of the soul. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear, never beginning to live. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. A wrongdoer is often a man who has left something undone, not always one who has done something. A man's worth is no greater than the worth of his ambitions. Whoever does wrong wrongs himself. Whoever does injustice does it to himself, making himself evil. Death smiles at us all. All we can do is smile back. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others. The happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control. But the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. A man must stand erect, not be kept erect by others. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. The only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. Be content with what you are and wish not change, nor dread your last day, nor long for it. The wise man sees in the misfortune of others what he should avoid. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane.
Almost nothing material is needed for a happy life. For he who has understood existence, be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? It is within our power not to make a judgment about something and so not disturb our minds, for nothing in itself possesses the power to form our judgments. You must build up your life action by action and be content if each one achieves its goal as far as possible, and no one can keep you from this. If something is difficult for you to accomplish, do not then think it impossible for any human being. Rather, if it is humanly possible and corresponds to human nature, know that it is attainable by you as well. That which isn't good for the hive isn't good for the bee. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. What doesn't transmit light creates its own darkness. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Never esteem anything as of advantage to you that will make you break your word or lose your self-respect. Failure to read what is happening in another soul is not easily seen as a cause of unhappiness, but those who fail to attend the motions of their own soul are necessarily unhappy. Anger and the sorrow it produces are far more harmful than the things which make us angry.